So in this video, I will show you how to create a binomial expansion program on your TI-84 Plus calculator. We start off with our formula, which is the r plus 1th term is the coefficient of n over r multiplied by x to the n minus r power uh, multiplied by y to the r -th power. So we're going to want to create a new program by hitting program right click till we get create new I'm gonna call mine binomial bine expansion okay expand that's all that fits which is fine we're gonna want to prompt our unknown variables by hitting program right click once down prompt and we uh, have alpha x, comma, alpha y, comma, alpha n, comma, and our alpha r. Now I'm going to want to display something here, and I'll tell you guys why in a minute, but it'll help me make, uh, or help me um, not make mistakes uh, when I plug numbers into my calculator. And to display something, I'm going to hit program, right click once, display, display a phrase. So I hit alpha and the um, quotation mark, which is right above the plus sign. And I'm going to want to display a phrase uh, in the form of a question, are you sure? and question mark and I close the uh, quotation by hitting the again quotation mark uh, it says here are you sure uh, to give me uh, some time to answer that question I'm gonna hit program I'm gonna go down to pause enter and I'll tell you guys why in a minute okay next I'm going to want to um, give my R term minus 1 and I'm going to dis store it into alpha M. R minus 1 is M and I'll explain that as well. Now to find our coefficient, to find our coefficient we get uh, open parentheses alpha n factorial which is under the math button you right click to get the factorial close that parentheses divided by open three parentheses and n minus alpha m close the parentheses factorial close that parentheses multiplied by alpha m factorial and we close that parentheses we're going to store that into c for our coefficient we're not done yet um we need to multiply that by the unknown variables, so we have alpha x to the open parentheses to the power of n, the alpha n minus alpha m, close the parentheses, multiply that by the y, which is y to the alpha m power. We're going to store that store by hitting the store button right above the on button into alpha e for the expansion. We multiply then the coefficient times the expansion so c times e and we store that into b for the binomial expansion program I, you know we're going to want to display our answers so we hit program right click down to display alpha b 
we quit that. Okay. Now, in a program, or I'm sorry, in a homework assignment uh, or test, you might find a, a problem that looks like this: x plus two y to the eighth power, and it asks you to find the sixth term. Uh, the sixth term, remember, is uh, um, one minus, or I'm sorry, one plus r. So r is actually five. So we have eight, you know, uh, five multiplied by x to the eight minus five multiplied by two y to the fifth power. That's why we had m in our program. Eight over five is fifty-six. Uh, multiply by x to the third, multiply by 2y to the fifth, which should give us 1792, 1792, x to the 3y uh, to the fifth. If we try our program out, remember we had x was 1, y was 2, n was the eighth power, and R was the nth term, which was 6. It asked me, are you sure? Yes, and the answer is 1792. 1792. Now, why uh, why I displayed the question, are you sure? Because uh, sometimes on your homework or test, it will show um, something similar to this. 3x minus 2y to the 11th power, and it gives you r equals 5. Now, you have to remember that r is plus one to find the uh, nth term that we want to plug in. In this case, it's six. Five plus one is six. So I'm going to want to plug in six, not five, into my into my calculator. Again, it looks like this: a constant of eleven over five multiplied by three x uh, to the sixth, and a negative two y to the Fifth, which should give us 462 times 729 times negative three, uh, 32, which should give us this nasty number: 10, negative 10 million 777,536 x to the sixth, y to the fifth. Now let's try it on our program binomial expansion x was 3, y was negative 2, n was 11, and remember r was uh, r plus 1, so it's going to be 6. Are you sure? You know, it's just kind of one of those questions that just allows you to sink in. Like, well, am I plugging in the right numbers? Which I am, so the answer is going to be negative 10,777,500 and 36. So hopefully this helps and uh, like I said again this is this is um, more than anything just to double check your answers um, and um, and I hope it helps